Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe Brown and if you are new here, welcome. I am so glad that you're here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you wanna see more videos from me in the future. Today I'm gonna to be using a hair extension, which is pretty cool. This is the Easy Updo Extensions. Um, usually a pack is like a pack of three. Um, so if you have really long hair, you can go ahead and get the pack of three. There's a pack of two as well and then a pack of one. Um, I at the moment only use one because my hair is so short and I usually only use it for a top knot. Um, but one extension is $19.95, I think, 20 bucks. Let's just round it up. Um, if you end up buying an extension, the link will be down below. I did a just regular top knot tutorial recently using this um, extension and you guys loved it. I've heard so many good things, such great feedback from it. Um, and it's very easy to use. It literally is just a rope with a hair elastic at the end of it. So um, honestly, the possibilities are endless for this, especially if you have long hair, it works great. They have tons of different colors. I am using the color platinum today. You can actually mix a couple colors together and um, so it looks like highlights, which is really cool too. I hope that you enjoy this tutorial and know that you do not have to do braids to do this. You can do a regular top knot as well uh, without the braids, just pull your hair back and do the same old thing. So let's just get right into the tutorial. All right, so I already have my hair parted and I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. So as you can tell, like this part is kind of at an angle. I wanna like bring it kind of close to my head in the front and then do like a diagonal going backward. So like it goes triangle. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and then to keep it out of my way, I'm just gonna tie it up in a tiny little bun and then pin it with just one bobby pin just to keep it out of my way while I do this side. So with this side, since it's already done, so everything is completely sectioned off, what I'm going to do is all of this hair needs to be pinned down. So I'm gonna take these flat clips and I'm just gonna pin that down just so this hair is out of the way and I just braid this. All right, so here is a little trick that I like to use. You guys can use any texture spray. This is the Ion Dry Texture Spray. Um, you can get it at Sally Beauty. I'll put the link down below. So I'm just gonna just spray all up and down my hair just to give it like a little grip. You can also use the Puff Me. The Puff Me is really good if you want like that sticky texture. But today I'm gonna be using ADH Dry. This is like a texture cream. So think of like a um, sea salt spray, but like in cream form. I really like this for the starts of my braids just to keep all those flyaways down. And it's a dry finish, so it's not sticky or anything. So I'm gonna take the smallest section in the front, just like that, doesn't have to be perfect. And I am going to start just a regular three strand braid. So here's my three strands, one, two, and three. And we're gonna tuck the braids underneath. So everything is going underneath, so your braid is gonna sit on top. And then you pull one piece of hair from one side, the other from the other side. Holding everything super tight. I'll try to tilt my head down so you guys can see it a little better. Now you want to hold the braid wherever you're braiding to, so that's why I'm trying to keep it tight and trying to pull it all the way back. I think that is all the hair. So now we're gonna be pulling it really, really tight, placing it towards the back, pulling out little pieces so you pancake it. And then I'm gonna take a small elastic and just 
pinch it off right here and I'm trying to pull the hair back towards the middle because we're just going to do a top knot with it. There we go. So just a little, a little braid just for a little texture in the front. Just like that. Now we'll move on to the next side. Okay, since everything is done on this side, I can take out those clips and then we'll move, we will move the clips onto this side just to keep everything flat. I'm gonna take the dry texture spray again and just spray it on in there. And then I'll take a little bit more of that ADH. I'm literally just coating my finger. Like I'm not taking a ton. I just want everything to be really soft in the front. Take that three strand braid again. Braid it one time through and then start adding little sections from each side. Remember to pull everything under. So all of the hair is going under so the braid sits on top. You wanna make sure that everything is super tight. Going back. But I think that is it. Pancake it out. And get another elastic. Put that right there. Like I said, these don't have to be perfect um, because you just want a little bit of texture in there they're just gonna be going in a bun like this okay here comes the fun part so I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the easy updo extension but this thing is really cool because it literally is just like a roped piece of hair which is amazing this is the color platinum um, and this matches my hair really good so what you're gonna do is it comes like with a little rubber band and it has like a, a clasp on it just like that and then I'm going to just bring these two ponytails together on the top of my head. Just like that. And then we're going to tease my regular hair. <laughs> ah! And then we are going to twist this extension with my regular hair, focusing most of it towards the back because we want those braids to show. I'm gonna take the Frenchie bobby pins, which are like, they're just like kind of fuzzy. Um, they work really well with these extensions though. Regular bobby pins work well too. I just tend to gravitate more towards these. Then you can pull apart the extensions to make them look more like your hair. All right, a little poof ball on top of my head. <laughs> um, so just pull those braids out, try to get that top bun like as far back on your head as you can. I probably should have braided my hair a little bit further back, but this works. And then we're gonna take the generic value spray. Generic, generic value products by Sally Beauty. Um, this is the Kenra Volume dupe. Lift up this back hair, stick it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I absolutely love this extension because it gives you that big top knot that us short hair girls um, can't really achieve on our own, especially if you have blonde hair and like a lot of layers. It gets really, really tiny up there. So 
I'm using one extension, but if you have long hair too, this absolutely works because you can use a couple of extensions. I know um, a lot of people use just like a big old top knot on the top of their head and put like all their hair up. I have an undercut, so I can't do that yet but I'm looking forward to the day where I can. <laughs> I hope that you try it on yourself. You can even do like one braid. I've done a tutorial where I've done three braids before at the top. You honestly can do anything and it's, it's really fun and adds a little bit more texture and pop uh, to your hair. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next video.